All right, I'll admit I wasn't quite ready to start. Uh, but that's okay. Notes. I should update this template. Because I don't really do this stuff anymore. It was worth a try. Uh, just don't do it. Whatever. Um, more work on my video. Similar. Yeah, for a while I was trying to um, keep up with the notes and like do pretty good things about like timestamps and all the other things like that. But it just that was a lot of effort to try and keep track of, um, and it's not worth it to me at the moment. So we're not doing that. Um, also, I didn't really do my full stream prep, so I hope everything's cool here. Uh, just because I streamed a little while ago, took a quick break to watch uh, President Elect Biden speak, and then came back. So here I am. Uh, what am I doing? So let, actually, let's fix the template for commands launch pad launch launch pad. This isn't right. Launchers. That's what I'm looking for. Make Hugo journal. Make you go stream notes. So here's the thing. So we're just gonna do this. Bloop, 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 bloop. Lots of bloops. Notes. There you go. Because that's all I'm really doing these days with it. So cool. That's that. Uh, also, real quick, I want to find keyboard maestro. So. Text Wrangler is what I use for my notes sometimes. And this is my setup for run stream prep. Uh, but this action, when I try it, closes it. Basically, it closes all the windows. I just clean everything out, basically, is what happens. Um, oh, you know what would be interesting? I was actually thinking about this the other day for Sublime Text. I don't know if I want to get into this right now. I don't, but I was thinking, so I just close all the windows because most of the time that's fine and it asks me and I can save them. But what I was thinking I could do is actually make the windows smaller and then tile them so that I could actually look at them and figure out which ones I want to close or save or if I want to keep some of them open. Because sometimes I like them, I wouldn't mind having them open, but that's for a later time. Um, but this one we're going to do so is that a new action? Can you just make a new? Okay, so in order to do it, you gotta send a command. What I wanna do, so this closes all the windows, but what actually I wanna have one of the windows open and on the other monitor for notes, if I wanna be able to take notes or see notes or whatever. So I need to First, let's bring Text Strangler back up. First thing we can do is bring it all the way over here. And macros, get window coordinates. Okay, so if I click on it when you can't see it, what's over here, here are the coordinates of that particular window. Sweet, so Macros, macros, run stream prep. New action. Select or show a menu item. Because I think what we want to do, yeah, select, close in the file menu. Here, what I want to do, front application. So I actually want to go specifically to Text Wrangler just to make sure nothing funky is happening. And we got to go menu. You may not be able to see all this. Text Wrangler, file, new, text document. Oh, wow, it's got with selection, with clipboard, text window, disk browser, FS, F, FTP, S, FTP. 
Okay, so there's that, which if I try that, it just made a new window over there. That's cool. There's the new window. Oh, I guess what I could do, actually, let's resize this down just a little bit and give it the size in case there's multiple windows open, which there won't be. So, cause I would have just closed them all. So we can just do this. Let me try this again. Prep text, prep text wrangler, goodness. So close everything, pop one open. There we go. Last but not least, come back in here. Resize window, resize by move and resize custom. And then we just put in these numbers, that, 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 that. Front window from, and again, we're just gonna be specific. All right, so now, and you probably, I don't know if you'll see this or not, you may see it flash. Let's close these and let's try this. Yep. Cool, progress. Uh, we're actually gonna do the same thing real quick to BB Edit. But BB Edit will move, let it be in the middle. Um, but I do just wanna have it have a window that's open. Which I guess I can just, oh wait, why is that? Oh, pie, yeah, I turned pie charm off for a little while. I was trying to resize the font on PyCharm. Oh. But it's the only way you can do that is if you close it and reopen it. Menu, BB Edit, File new text document. Okay. How do I motivate myself? Uh, I just have stuff that I like to do and I try and keep doing it. Uh, yeah, I think it's just figuring out stuff that I want to do and then going after it is my kind of motivation. And then also, I don't know. It's a good question. Uh, I'll have to think about that, actually. <laughs> some of it, I think, is nature and nurture both. Like, I think some of it, I'm just wired that way. And some of it, maybe uh, my parents were encouraging growing up. Uh, and being naturally optimistic, trying not to let stuff get to me recognizing most of the time people aren't after me or meaning to be jerks or trying to like, you know, really mess with you. Uh, all right, BB edit. So we're making the new window. How about you? How do you stay motivated? Uh, now I need to find our So that closes all the windows. Oh yeah, so I should do this with Sublime Text too. I should do it with all these. Close non screen maps. Open Finder to review. Where's the one that closes that? Oh, resize windows. Here it is. Oh, okay, it's its own macro. Resize windows full. For each item, does this do the resize? Yeah. All right, so let's just clip this back in here. Run stream prep, prep BB edit. Put this right in here. So we already got BB edit activated. Then we could do that and see if that doesn't resize us back in here. There it goes. Okay, cool. Hey, thank you very much. Uh, and I hope your hard time gets less hard. Um, that's a bummer when that happens. I don't have anything other to say than that's a bummer, but um, hope it gets better. 
Because that's... I don't know, I think things always have the potential to get better. Like that. Yeah, this too shall pass. Um, but yeah, take care. Uh, let's see. So keyboard maestro. So do I want to do the same thing with sublime texts? Eh, they'll be okay for right now. That's enough. All right. So Python. So working on the video assembler. I think I finally got my head around how to split things out and separate it and test it. So the goal is... Uh, loop through a bunch of mp3 files, loop, loop through a batch of mp3 files for each mp3 file I want to make a video uh, and that video is going to be made by going to uh, the NASA API for images and videos and pulling down a video clipping that video into scenes and then taking one of those scenes randomly and adding that as a piece of the video Rent, and then rinse repeat that loop until you've got enough clips to equal the length of the song um, and then stitch the whole thing together so that's the that's the goal um, and like it that's actually not that much to do um, it's most of the parts are pretty straightforward so I've been uh, I, I like it's something that you could write without a tremendous amount of effort and not a tremendous amount of time um, but I'm using it as an exercise to practice um, test-driven development and uh, object-oriented thinking. So this is my actual fourth pass at this um, to, to kind of refine the way that I'm looking at it. Uh, so there's a lot of back and forth in my head and conversation talking about, talking about where I'm headed with this. But what I've got now and the approach that I'm taking now is to kind of split things so that there's a video assembler, which is a top-level item, there will be video objects, there will be MP3 objects, and then clip objects. And that clip objects is the, is the piece that I think I was missing. Um, because that way I can basically fire at it and say, give me a clip from this video, and it can do all the magic that it needs to and just respond back. Um, so that's where we're headed right now. Um, there we go. So no tests in there. We've gotten the clip. So... We're going to set up. I don't know if C is a safe thing to use. Looks like it. So we're going to make a clip. Okay. And then so what does this clip need to do? Um, you need to give it... So here's what I'm thinking. We give it a source directory. Which is gonna to go to our one of our clips directory. So the so when you get a video, it automatic it saves the video to a specific location and then automatically splits it out and gives you the clips. So the source directory is gonna be one of those clips. Or it's gonna be one of those directories of clips which in this case is going to be this. So test data v4, eight, eight. Oh, I wish it would auto complete right there because that's going to be not a fun number to type. So we're going to copy it. Like so, like so. So that's our clips directory. And then this is where I'm stuck on the testing part of it. Um, so it's going to, like, I want this to do the random picking of that. So when you...
uh, we're passing it in, and let's actually pass it in explicitly by name. Because I'm a fan. Source directory equals source directory. Okay, so we've got that. And then so when you initialize. It should pick a clip. Right. Yeah, okay, we're gonna start with this because I've, I've got some other ideas about how to do the clip stuff, but right now we're just gonna do this. So, self get clip path. Yeah, this can be okay, I think. So we're gonna need glob. Clips to choose from is glob.glob, glob.blob. There we go. So we're going to go into the source directory, star.mp4, because they should all be mp4s in there. So we're going to get our list of mp4s. And then we're going to need from random, import randint, because we're going to get a random integer. So that's clips to choose from. And then we're, we're gonna do, so I don't have a good way to run and test this, but that's okay. I think I can just do this, then it'll break and we'll see what happens. Yeah, this is fine. Like, yeah, I can't, like I'm just picking a random number. So like, it's okay to not have a test sitting on that. That's, that's where I've struggled a bunch with this is trying to figure, like I was trying to test kind of too many things uh, but I think I think I'm finding a good row here. So why is that window taller than all the other ones? You can't see it probably. There you go. So random index equals randint, which is zero indexed, and then the length of clips to choose from minus one. I feel like I've got one too many. Oh, I guess not. So, and then we're gonna return. I guess I could just set it. No, cause I need to, I need to call it anyways. And I like that assignment happening. So then we're gonna return clips to choose from with a random index. Random clip equals, and this is where I need to figure out how I'm gonna do logging. Ah, almost had it, there we go. See, like I don't have a test on that, but it's just, it's reading a directory and picking a file randomly. Okay. Yeah, so we sent it a source directory. So let's just do this. I just want to see it go. Like this is the other thing, so I'm not really sure how to see it go. See, uh... oh wait, just doing it. Video is similar in a sequence. Um, so yes, in a sequence, but in a random sequence. Um, I'm gonna grab all these videos, and as I grab each video from the NASA API, um, I'm gonna clip them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a random video from a list of videos. I'm gonna clip it, and I'm gonna grab a random clip out of that batch, and then stack it 
um, basically on a stack, rinse, repeat, get another clip and put it on, another clip, put it on, another clip, put it on. So it's gonna be just randomness all over the place. Um, that's kind of the, the approach uh, or the goal of this. Um, and if I get enough videos, it should be kind of odd, but it'll all be NASA theme stuff. Um, I think I've got one somewhere. Uh, video output tour. Yeah, so like, even though it's NASA stuff, I, I was thinking, oh, it's mostly space stuff or whatever, but there's all kinds of just random stuff that's going on through here. And then they like, I've got different types of transitions that I'm going to do. Um, so it'll just kind of be all over the place. And then the real trick is there's going to be um, background uh, music or music. Um, yes, with FFmpeg, kind of. Um, there's a FFmpeg concat. So this is what gives you, nope, that was not what I was looking for. This is it. So this one, I can throw you here so I can see you. Um, oh, I just hit the wrong button. No, it might've been the right button. We'll see what happens. Bear with me a second as this thing freaks out and moves all the windows around so I can see the chat. There we go. Um, but now that's in front of there. I need to readjust that. Oh, actually, I know what I can do. Stand by. I don't have it set up for the GIF to show up in both places. Um, but the FFmpeg concat lets you do these tra these GL transitions. Um, I spent a bunch of time actually working with FFmpeg in general to do the concatenation myself. Um, and I got a fade going in and out, but these GL transitions are way easier or way better. And then also the, the string to do it is way simpler. Um, you basically just, uh, oh, where's the command line version? Somewhere down here, there's a command line version. Did I miss it? Yeah, F of M can, can hat, and then you just pass it a transition, which you can give it a config file, and then your output file, huzzah, and then however many input files you want, and then it does the stitching, um, and it does the transitions. Way be better than FFM, or way easier than FFmpeg. It uses FFmpeg under the bottom, and then I'm overlaying audio on it, and that's a straight FFmpeg command. Um, those commands. And then scene detection is what I'm using to do this split. So scene detect fires off, FFmpeg concat uh, fires off, and then the FFmpeg just by itself will overlay the audio. So that's kind of the, the process that's gonna happen. All right, so we've got our random clip picked. If I just run this, does it print out test failed? How's test fail? Matching itself, what the hell? Uh, no, uh, I, the, I, I know some people that work for NASA, but no, this is just personal project just to mess around with. Um, I've got a bunch of YouTube video or YouTube audio that I wanna put um, the videos underneath. And the NASA API was one of the first ones that I thought of to go grab the data from. Uh, I, was, I was raised in Huntsville, Alabama, which has a whole bunch of NASA people around. So maybe that's where the NASA idea got in my head. Uh, why didn't that, why did that fail? What happened? Empty range, Rand. Oh, uh, what's going on? Didn't like my random. Randant. Clips to choose from. This is why some of this stuff is hard to test. anything in there there's nothing in there that's why why isn't there anything in there source directory this will actually be set programmatically 
Why isn't that there? Dev, video assembler, test data for video storage, eight, oh, maybe I missed that, eight clips, copy that path. Uh, I can certainly help. I can certainly try. Sorry, I can certainly help. Uh, maybe I can help. Uh, I can certainly try. What you got? No pie game. I don't know pie, pie game. Oh yeah, you can send a link. I think. I haven't turned them off that I know of, but give it a shot and see what happens. If it doesn't work, I'll uh, I'll see if I can figure it out. Oh, I've never seen this before. That's cool. Writing video games, huh? I've never heard of this. Let's see what you got. All right, what's going on? Is game over function? For I, in range of number of enemies, if enemy purple wrecked, I dot Y. So I'm guessing this is a purple rectangle. And Psi rectangle. For I. If that and that and that and that, I th this looks weird to me. Because I think you're just saying, are you trying to make sure all of these equal 600? Because that looks like what you're trying to do, but I don't think that's what you're doing. Or I don't think that's what this does. So I think if I'm looking at this right, Yeah, all equals 600. Yeah, so I think what you actually need to do is set it up like this. Uh, so if that's your if statement, you need to you need to do the comparison against, and I may not have the syntax exactly right here, but you need to do the syntax something like this, where you're making the comparison to 600 independently for each one. Um, of the elements. So let's, here, let's see if we can try this. Um, A equals 600, B equals 600, C equals 600. So if, I'm gonna put this in parens. I don't know the, I don't know the Python syntax for this, so we're gonna figure it out right now. Okay, so that works. Yeah, so there's that, and then you do and. Put that in parens, b equals 600, which in your case would be, you know, enemy purple wrecked i. So there's there's your true, there's your true, right? Or true, uh, here, we actually do it. So there's that, otherwise, uh, print false. And so if we change one of these to 601, there's your false. 
Yeah, so what you'd need to do is wrap each wrap each one of these in its own prins wrapper with the ends in between and then put the 600s and then equal equal 600 to each one. Got it? Cool. Yep. What you what you show here I can see like that that makes sense in terms of the way that you're that you were thinking about it. That makes perfect sense. It's just not as you got to bracket them and change and look at them all individually instead of looking at them like collectively. There may be a way to look at them collectively. I don't know how to do that, but I wouldn't be surprised if there is. But yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, let's just do that for now. And I got to figure out why mine's not working. Do you see why mine's not working? Because I haven't yet. Let's give it that full path and see what happens. There we go. We found some clips. I had the path wrong somehow. I think I just hit the mic. Sorry about that. So let's back that back off. Still working? There you go. Okay. So I could put in error checking for this stuff, but it, it's not that big a thing. And like by and large, it should work. If I run into errors, then I'll put in the errors. I'm not going to preemptively do error checking at this point. So if I run this, there's my list. And then here's my random video. So that's really what I'm after is we're going to assign. And really what I can do is now I should be able to here, just running the test, I should be able to print C dot clip path. Right, and I should see a random clip path. There you go. So there's my random clip. So that's the start. And so I was doing, I was thinking about all this stuff that I could do with the durations about like, I don't want the clips to be too long or whatever, but like that's going to be phase two. I was getting ahead of myself. So really what I need is that path. So it's already clipped. I've got that. I need the duration. This I am going to test because this is a little bit of code. Yeah, still, yeah, like there's no, I don't know, it feels like this should be tested. But like you're just doing a glob over a file, directory, whatever. Picking one at random. That's fine. So. Duration. Actually, here, let me set up the test first so we can do it actual TDD style. So here's our test. Duration. Wow, I cannot type right now. So it's going to be seconds. I'm just going to say 123 seconds, 123. We're just going to run, make sure our tests pass. They do. Now we do C. Duration. Duration fails as expected because it's not there so we're going to make it duration just pass now I should be passing again now we're going to sign it it's going to fail again and then we're going to return whoops wow still can't type Duration. And so we should be passing again. We're hard coded for the value. Cool. Now I can actually do the work to put this in here. And the trick is I think I can already get the work done because I did it before. Just got to find it. Not in this file. Okay. Roger that. 
MP3 duration, MP4 clip duration. There's our code. We're just going to steal this. And we need to import RE here. Because we're using regular expression. And we need to do subprocess. Sub it's import subprocess. That'll clear up both of those errors. Maybe. Where are those? OK. Well, just, we're still red. That was weird. Run this. Should fail because the numbers are going to be different. Oh. Missing keyword argument MP4. Ah, different code. I've already got this path. Clip path. Try again. Now we're gonna fail because the numbers are different. Yep, so it's that's a five second clip. Get rid of that. Keep that there. Should be passing. There you go. Yeah, this is much nicer. I had all kinds of stuff going all over the place in all the other files, so this is better. Um, let's go ahead and commit that. Add clip. It's our old video similar. It's our old text thing. Assembler v4. Okay, so MP3 build videos. So we're in build videos. So we're getting an MP3 list. We're looping through the list, finding the MP3s. We're picking an MP3. We're grabbing its duration. And now, all right, I'm just gonna keep this in here for now. So while duration is greater than zero, mm, yeah, all right, well, we might as well try it, see what happens. Clip equals clip, which I think I need to import from clip import clip. So we've got a clip. Here's where I forget where we're going to pass it. Where are we passing it? We need to do a source directory. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on. Before the MP3. Sorry, before the clip, we got to get a video. And video needs a URL. Okay, so backing up. Uh, let's bring this out for a second. Let's bring this out for a second. So, MP3 dir URL file URL JSON file URL JSON path. Oops. Do I have the URLs in here yet? Not yet. So we need to move those in. Uh, where am I going? Test data three, URL list. There we go. Copy that over. Test data four, URL list, URLs.json. So on a net, MP3 root dir. 
And really, this should be... So let's do this. Um, self URL list equals self get URL list. But before we do that, we got to pass this in. Like that. And then self URL list equals self get URL list. So we're just going to put that right down here. And again, I'm not really, there's not a good test for this. It's just, um, we need JSON. This is just going to be with open. Oops, get out of there. That with read as URL JSON. Self, oh, no, we can actually just do, okay. URL data equals JSON load URL JSON. And then we're gonna return URL data URLs, I think. URL data is URL. Yep, that's the list. Cool. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. What am I doing? I flip this back just so I can see a little bit better. Where did my Firefox go? There we go. Gotta get that GIF going. Is hidden. Gotta bring it back. There we go. Hmm, I wonder if that's gonna hide too much stuff. Eh, be fine for now. Uh no, I'm gonna put it back up there. That's close enough. Sweet. Patch arm, patch arm, patch arm, patch arm. Patch arm. All right. Let's see if we got this. Yep, there's your list. All right, so now we're back in here. So we're gonna get an MP3. Actually, you know what I wanna do? I wanna bring this out. But we're gonna make that a method. How about build? I like that better. The whole tell don't show. That's gonna blow up. Build MP3 list. Yeah, something's not liking it. Try that. Better, better, better. Pass. So actually, we could just do. It's kind of weird to just have the one line or two and whatever, but that's fine. Oh, I wonder if order matters there. 
I bet it does. Does this fail? Yeah, order matters. Not surprising, right? I wonder if that's like an anti pattern, but whatever. Uh, all right, so we've got our MP3s, we've got our URLs. So for build videos, for here's our loop. Actually, we're going to break this out. Build video self build video with MP3 file because that way we can test it a little easier. Yeah, okay. So build video, so MP3 object. Oh, we're gonna pass it mp3 path. mp3 list, okay, we're gonna change some names here. I like names. mp3 paths, build mp3. Paths. Build MP3 three paths. MP3 router. Okay, that's all cool. Start not building it. Build videos. There we go. This is still weird because I can't figure out where the, like, I'm not writing tests on any of this stuff. And that was kind of the, I mean, like, I'm testing it, but like, eh, I don't know, it's weird. But again, not really worth testing glob. Not really worth testing loading JSONs. Not worth testing looping. Yeah, and you kind of need an integration test, but then it's just like looking for an output file. All right, so build video. First thing we're gonna do, mp3 equals mp3 with mp3 path, which I really should call these things the same thing. Let's see what I called it over here. Oh, whoops, helps if you see that. File path. Build video, MP3 path. All right. File path, file path, file path. File path, file path equals file path. File path, lots of file paths. All right, so we've got our MP3 object.
duration equals mp3 duration. Duration, mp3 duration. Print duration. 106, same file. See, and this is where it gets tricky is because I don't want to bounce off the network every time I test this. Um, so while duration is greater than zero, the, oh, I don't have video yet. From video and part video, V equals video with, oh, we gotta get the URL first. Um, URL equals self random video. URL. So down here, def random video URL. So return Video list here. Uh, random URL equals that here. Random index, random URL index equals rand integer from zero to length of that minus one. Is that still, is that all happy? Random URL equals that return random URL. Oh, I guess you could actually test these. Yeah, you could do a little bit of setup. Oh, I'm not using random yet, yet am I? From random. Import Randint. Yeah, you could test them. Okay, okay. So you could just test like pattern matches. I'm not gonna do that this time though. I'm kind of ready to finish this. Like I've learned a lot from it, but I'm ready to be done. So yeah, we can drop that. So before we do this, let's do this, this, this. Print URL. Run. So I give us some URLs. There's our URLs. Why is that so slow? Oh, who knows? Yeah, there's only two URLs in there, so it's often gonna be the same thing. Okay, so that gets us your URL. So we've got. Trying to figure out what all we need to pass. Oh, so what I can do, I don't need to do duration here. I'm gonna build, so V equal, no, you gotta, you gotta do it down there, Never mind. Back up, because it's gotta have the loop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there you go, okay. Uh, zip, there we go. So there's our duration. So here's where we got to do while duration greater than zero. I don't want to do less than. That would be an infinite loop. Um, v equals video. We're going to need a URL equal, whoops, that was weird, equals URL. 
And that equals, no, oh, for one, let's put this up here so it's not angry at us. I could, you could actually do, I'm not gonna mess with it right now, but you could actually move the randomness into the video and just have like V automatically pick a URL and, and go that way. You'd still have to pass the URL list to it, but that's cool, you could do that. Again, this is fine. So where do we get the storage dir from? Video storage router. Oops. Video storage router. And that needs to be. Well, we can just do that. That's fine. Video storage. Because we're going to pass that there. So that gets our video. JSON for logs, but whatever. I'll go back and do that later. I just kind of want to see what's going on with this as we bounce around parts of the system. Uh, it's going to be an infinite loop because I'm not subtracting anything. See, and that's... There's a better way to do this. I should break that out to a method. Um... But I'm just going to do this procedure right now just to get through it. Because I don't have my head around it enough to, and it's a little late, but. So that gets us the video. And then what we're going to want to do is get and clip the video. Where's video? Wow, it did a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't know about. Clip video. Oh wait, do we gotta get it and then clip it? Download and clip, there we go. So that's pulling it down and it's doing the clipping. Video. 
saving video. Downloading makes more, a lot more sense. Yeah, so this process takes a while. That's fine. We'll do this once and let it go. Just let it sit there. All right, so we've got the video. So now clips come into play. So the video, we're gonna return. So now if we do it, it'll just blow through fast because we already have the videos. We've already got the assets. So now the video has, it's got a storage path. It's got a clips path. That's what we're looking for. So now we want to make a clip. With storage directory equals V video clips path. So that gets us our clip. Clip path, right. Okay, so we got a clip path and that automatically gets set. So here's where we do, well, here's where we can do the duration. We're gonna get this part working first. Remaining duration. Duration equals duration minus C duration. What's that going to do? There you go. So that is the main part of the body. And then all we do is, so for duration, while dura so up here, build video, we're gonna build it. We've got our MP3 file path. We've got our duration, we're making our clips. MP4 clips equals a list. MP4 clips append C clip path. Print. Actually, let's do this. Let's start building the command. Um, Concat command. If a pimpeg concat. Uh, where am I going? Read me. I'm not gonna worry about the config file right now. We're just gonna do version one. So output, we're just gonna do out, but then here, oh, I hope all those paths have yeah, there's no spaces in there. Okay, I can deal with that for right now. Join MP3 clips, MP4 clips.
Print that. So it runs down everything for me. Whoops, it just spit out a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, that's actually the command. <laughs> Surprise. There you go. That's the assembly command. files. Oh, my test stuff. Yeah, there's a bunch of big videos in there. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. There's crap. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's out that MP4. Starting to write it. This is super cool. I got to look at this. Oh, whoops, I should have done that. That's all right. Cool to do that. Yeah, that's fine. I hear the fan spinning. Uh, what am I doing? FFmpeg concat is what that is. Is there quiet? Version, transition name, transition duration in the frame, concurrency, no cleanup frames, tempter, verbose help. There really should be a quiet there. But you can throw it off to uh, Devnal. Oh, there we go. I've seen these clips a few times because it's all the same. I'm only using two uh, video files. Okay, that's fine. I, I had some other ideas for how I split stuff, but this is this will be good for the first run. Okay, so that's the first part. Where do I want to put the output files is the question. Um, probably an output. That seems like a good place to do it. MP3 root dir, JSON root dir, video storage root dir, which is where we pick stuff up, and then output root dir. Test data v4, output. So 
So what we need is an output file name. Building. Output file name equals self build output file name from file path. Oh, whoops, we also need to grab this up here, add you here. Whoops, equals that. There we go, so that's in the mix. Now what are we doing? We're building an output file name. Build output file name. That's one less space there, that's fine. So, uh, file base name. How was I getting the pi file name? Include a file, or file, get base name without extensions. That's what I'm looking for. Import OS. So base name, oh, we gotta pass something to it. I don't like calling it file path. MP3 path? I went back and forth on this, I know. MP3 path, MP3 path. File path, that's fine. They don't have to be named the same thing. That makes more sense. Build video from MP3 path. Building MP3 path. File path equals MP3 path. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm cool with that. file path. So there's our base name. Oh, but I need Yeah, no, this is right. This is right. Because I want to split everything and I don't need the extension. Build output file path. I want the full path. Build output file path. File path, blah, 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 blah. So output file path equals self in front of that self dot that slash file name without extension dot mp4 and we're gonna turn that so output file path equals that and then we're gonna say building output file path because that's actually what we're building so our mp3 gets loaded duration set up mp4 clips we're gonna do all that mess and then down here, we're going to do that. So that's going to send it to our output file location. See, this is where it's tricky. I need to find like a two second long MP3 file or four seconds or something. Ooh, file path equals file path. That's bad. Build video. We want MP3 paths that we're doing? Yeah. Yeah, that's good as a transition because we're going through a bunch of file path. Yeah, that's fine, whatever.
Build video, MP3 path. Build video, we give it an MP3 path. File path is the MP3 path. Okay. That's cool. I like that. See, it still feels chunky. Way better than it did, but like... And there's stuff that I could hoist out and move around and whatever. Um, but like that whole thing of like, I need to see... Like, I've got to run over this loop, and I've got to do the video stuff. Here, make it slightly less crazy. I mean, I could hoist all the... So, I could hoist all this stuff out to its own method, which is what I should do. I'm gonna leave it like this for now though. That's fine. Um okay, so that builds the FFmpeg command or the FFmpeg and cat command. Now we need to make the JSON config file. I like this. Yeah, the separation here, we're getting the videos as its own objects and the clips as its own object. I like that a lot. And MP3 is the same thing too. Yeah, see, you could hoist this to its own class. But, like, it's kind of the assembler anyways. You have to have the loop and the duration. It's all good. Okay, so next up is the JSON. So, JSON file... So JSON config uh, concat config JSON path config.json. We're just gonna put it right next to it for right now. This is getting a lot of stuff to pass. So right here, self build concat config JSON with MP4 clips. Yeah, so we're just going to fire that off and build it um, with the number of clips. Well, I guess we could do the length of the clips. We don't actually have to pass the clips. Nah, that's fine. Uh, no, I want to I want to pass it a number. So the number needs to be the length of MP4 clips minus two because length gives you the total number but it's zero index so you need to chop one off and then we only need to do the in-between so minus two another one of those yeah Trust 
transition count equals all that. One too many. That's happy. Okay, yeah, so with open our path, right, or it, edit it, I don't know, as config JSON file. JSON dump to config JSON file. Right now I'm just gonna do that. Oh, wait. Um, Cause you need to pass it an object. I don't know if it really needs to be a JSON object or not. Probably we should do that though. Uh, but if we do this, we should see a config show up. Uh, okay, cool. I was afraid I was actually building. Oops. What did I do? JSON loads, JSON file, JSON config, JSON data. Why didn't it like that? Text IO wrapper, not JSON serializable. Build videos, MP3. In that, JSON dump. Yeah, so that's where it exploded. Oh, I think I got this backwards. You send the data to the file. Try this again. Concat command is not defined. Where am I running it? I ran it last time, right? Oh, no, I ran that from the command line. Okay, that, that's fine right there. Yeah, so there's our command. Here's our other command. Here's our JSON file, which should just be empty. So now, Uh, what is the format of the JSON format? Oh, okay, so it needs to be that, whoops, that append. that? Does that work? I don't know if that's gonna work. We'll see. Yo, it is the Biden speech after party. We're doing, uh, we're speaking in tongues about it. We're speaking in code about it. I got nothing. Uh, I'm taking my fourth run at my video assembler. Uh, again, I could have done it in like an hour, but I kept wanting to try it to solve it a different way with a, like a different mentality. So did you enjoy Herr Presidente Electo Machismo speech or his running on the stage? Which by the way, if he bit it, <laughs> would have been like the downfall of the United States. President Electo. I 
I didn't watch. Did y'all do a um chat or anything? What are you going on? Yeah, don't let him tell he's sworn in. That's exactly right. I would put Vegas odds on him not running again like that until uh, after thing. The, th the thing that I keep thinking of is it would be really. All right, I'm going to say this across the Internet and get shot for it. But like. If he croaks before Election Day. Harris would get sworn in as president, right? So she'd actually be the 40s. Like she would just be there for the full term, even though she was elected twice, she would get moved in, right? Like Baby Yoda in the carriage. Have you been watching Mandalorian? I watched the first season. I really liked it. Well, I, it was very soothing, right? It was just a nice thing to have. Episode four, season one. Guess I could put you in here so people could see what I'm talking about. Feels more Star Wars than Star Wars. Oh, 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 okay. That makes sense. Right, yeah, yeah. And like the, they do, it's nice to be in the universe with the speed at which they're moving. Like not that kind of frenetic pace of the, you know, the action movie, right? Because there's like action scenes or whatever, but it's like it's toned differently. I really, I, I'm that's I'm just realizing as I'm saying it out loud a thing that I really like about it. Yeah, apparently season two is out now. I haven't, I haven't watched anything recently except for a couple football games. Um, which this week was an off week, which I'm kind of glad about. Um, but I have uh, so I moved my cable box in here, <laughs> so I never have to leave the office or the the room. Uh, but uh, the my cable box doesn't talk to my stereo for some reason, so I had to get new wires. So those came in yesterday. Video assembler. Okay, so we've got our JSON punching in. So I think all we need to do is four count whatever. I can't come up with good variable names right now in. Transition count. Okay, so I guess that's okay. We just append one of those. Right? Did we run that? Do we see a whole bunch of them? Some, I saw something go by on Twitter. It sounded like Notre Dame was actually giving them a fight. I would love to see Clemson go down in Notre Dame. That would be awesome. Oh, this should be a range, but whatever. If it works, it works. Oh, except it's not iterable. Integer is not iterable, right? Okay, it's gotta be enumerable. Oh, how do you do Python ranges? Range numbers, range. So I wanna do zero for counter in range. Do I want to do zero or do I want to do one? This is what's called an off by one error. Let's see what happens. Oh, made the first one. Made the second one. Oh, really? Yes. EXPN? Ooh, that's probably porn. How is EXPN not a... Hang on. How is EXPN not a porn site? Oh, can really, it's a command, apparently. Whatever. That would be a perfect porn site. Oh, look at this. File Live. Clemson claws back. Uh, oh, tied up. 
Come on, Irish. Ugh. Yeah, so I basically I've I've got this thing. Like I'm probably like yeah, I'm gonna finish it tonight. Um Actually, so here, let me see if my JSON works properly. So the number that I have, oh, bummer. I needed to count the lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know what? I'm just going to run it and see what happens. Um, even though that takes, that's going to take longer than counting, but it'll also let me see if it goes. So there's our output path and what we need to have JSON config path. We need this one. It was funny. There was somebody on earlier, and I was messing around with you know the NASA APIs or the videos or whatever. And there was a whole bunch of NASA URLs floating around. And twice today, people are going, "Have you worked? Do you work for NASA?" And I'm like, "I do not." Okay, so I think. All right, let's. I don't even know anymore. Let's see what happens. Oh, you actually have to run the command. That's the first thing that has to happen. Uh, so there's that. If we pick this up, we go to our terminal. And we paste all that junk in. What happens? Nope. Exploded. Error number of transitions must equal the number of videos minus one. Yep, told you. Off by one error. Have you heard the joke that there's two problems in computer science? Naming things, caching, and off by one errors? It's funny because it's true, by the way. Hey! Somebody walked in right for the joke. Perfect. Hello! Grimshot. Shave and a haircut. Two bits. Uh, all right, run it one more time. See what happens. Did we fix the off by one? All right, blah, blah, blah. Grab all that stuff. Grab this. Come here. Please don't explode. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? Oh, wait, here, try this. Does that work? What? Am I off by two? Is that what happened? Concat error number of transitions. Ooh, I must be off by two. Two? That can't be right. Oh, I guess I should check the JSON and see. No, oh, there's stuff in there. I think I know what's going on though. I think I subtra subtracted to earlier. Come on, stop it. It keeps picking, I, like, I don't like the way this thing picks up. Nope, okay, I know what's going on. At least I think I do. Uh, maybe, come here. So let's paste this back to zero. Uh, where am I going? Transition count, length of M clips. I could actually do this math at some point, but I'm just gonna keep punching numbers in until something happens. Because that's where my head's at right now. See, it keeps. I did not copy that. It keeps picking it up, though. I do not like that. That makes me not like it. Oh, God. All right, let's print out the JSON so we can see it and see what's going on. 
uh, you print out the JSON, so we're dumping it right there. So if we do indent equals two, that should make it a little bit easier to see. I just want to look at it. Oh, if I was smart, I would have changed it at that point. Uh, where am I going? Here. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one. I don't know why that's says 20. Oh, because it's zero indexed. Okay. That would have been easier. I could have just done that. That's cool. 21. All right. How many of these do we have? We're going to cheat. Find test data. Whatever, test. And break it, please. Twenty one. Okay, so we need to subtract one more. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna move this from one to transition count. Please work. There's the first one, second one. It's also possible I'm not calling the right file. Survey says, hey, we got it right. Oh, we got it wrong. Oh, come on. Non empty directory, not empty. What? Okay, this is new. Concat error, directory not empty. Remove directory, blah de blah de blah. Did it just pick up a Weird temp directory? Oh, come on. What the hell? Not working? I don't understand what's going on anymore. Hey, we changed it. Sweet. GIF. All right, so we're here. If we run it up here, does that work? Uh, oh. Failed to inject frame into filter network invalid argument. Error processing the decoded data from stream 01. Conversion failed. <laughs> oh. That's no good. Private floor scene three, scene 12, scene five. What are these doing? Video storage, all that jazz, original scene four plus all that Kodak. Why? Where's it getting this MP3 from? Four folders, DX. I don't understand what those come from. This worked. Uh, yeah, so like I'm kicking off to uh, an FFmpeg command 
So it's not actually in Python. I'm running the command externally and I don't know how to send debug on it, but this is not somewhere in here is probably the, the info that I need to have. Um, yeah, and so I just tried to run it in the terminal too to see if it was something in there that's freaking out. What I want to try now actually, we'll do a little experiment here. I'm going to take this JSON out of the mix and try and run it without the JSON and see what that does. Because I ran it before and it worked and then I added that JSON in and it broke. And it looks like it's working now. So I think it's something in the JSON file that I've goofed. We'll see in a second. So yeah, so this is the output directory, which hopefully, and this process takes a little bit um, cause this is doing, it's taking all the clips um, and then assembling them and then doing transitions in between them. Um, so it's funny what I, I think what I'm actually going to do when I run this is, yeah, so we're past the we passed those initial errors. Hopefully it'll work transcode. Okay. We're making progress. Um, but I think what I'm actually going to do is put all the MP3s, uh, up on Amazon and then use some of inline, just buy like one of the Amazon servers for like five bucks to see how fast I can process it. Cause like this is a five year old computer and it doesn't have a whole lot of horsepower and my internet isn't that fast. So I think for maybe like 15 bucks, who knows, I can go through a whole bunch of these because um, I've got uh, around 1500 of them to mess with. Yeah, so we're making so something in that JSON's fried, which I don't understand because it's all the same thing. Like it's literally the same thing every time. Did I get the command wrong? No, capital T. Uh oh. Uh. Help. No such file directory. Help. Yeah, capital T for transitions file. That's going to be a bummer if that doesn't work. I mean, these, so the default transition is uh, like a fade that goes pretty quickly. Um, yeah, so here's our test file. So that worked. Let's see what it built for us. It often starts with this one. Makes me wonder. Yeah, so that little crossfade is the default fade right there. But there's there's like nine or 12 fades or something that you can use. And I was hoping to be able to randomize those and put them in. But for right now, this is good. Like I'm just, I, I wanna get the first version of this out. So, cause I was kind of messing around like, ooh, I could do this and I could do this and I could do this. And that's, I'm days into this and still haven't actually made the first one happen. So I'm, I'm backing off and just getting the first one going. Um, so I was going to try and do that JSON command, but it's not working. So I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, I'm just going to overlay the audio and then call that a good first version. Um, let me do comment that out though, just so I don't. So we'll do that. Comment that out. Okay, so now we're now we're running. Um, so that's our concat command. So then the only other command that we need is so we've already done the scene split. We've done the concat. The last thing we need is our um, is overlaying the MP3 which is this.
add audio. Command. So we just got that. Let me throw this back over here so I can see if y'all will say anything. Input is going to be our output video file. Input audio is going to be our MP3 path. Oh, I should have done. We're just going to fire this up first and then I'll rename the files later. I don't want to do that. Um, here, let's actually name these things, right? So here's our output file path that we're building. File path without extension. move these to a separate directory. Um, that's the output route. We need temp storage. Oh, I could actually put it back in the video storage. Root dir. What, what else is in there? Video storage dot dot dot. There's the original. Oh, no, I can't put it in there. That's for the URLs coming down. Okay. Or for the, that's where I, that video storage is where I put all the videos that come down from the NASA API. I need a temporary storage. Temp root dir, whatever, it's fine. I just don't want to have the the ones that I'm assembling without audio in the same direct, directory as the ones with audio. So now I need to add this up here. This is gross. It's way too long. But right now that is okay. So that output Build output file path, output file path. So this becomes this. Where do we set the that file path? Output file path. So this is really temp output pile, file path. Temp output pile. If temp, blah, 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 blah. temp. There you go. Build, uh, build, right? Build. A goof there. This needs to be this. This needs to be this. That's what's going on. Okay. Does this work? That looks like it works. Nope. Output file path not defined. Temp output file path. There we go. And our input here is going to be temp. And our MP3 path. And then we need to make final output file path. These are not good names. They're not awful names, they're just not, yeah, they're fine.
So I'm just going to duplicate this, which is duplication, I recognize, but whatever, right now. Whoa, whoa, that exploded. What's going on? And then the only thing I should have to do is change that out with the actual output router here. So that gives me my final output file path. Let's actually name these so they're consistent. Final output file path. So add audio command ffmpeg. So our temp, we're doing our temp output file path, which should have the word video in it. All that shortest. Are we still under the same umbrella? Yeah. Uh oh, look at this. Oh, we didn't actually make. Actually, let's just run it and see what happens. Let's put the commands in. Let's add them in and see what happens. That went too fast. And that went too fast. Number of transitions must be equal. Oh, yeah, get rid of this for now. Something else goofed. No such file or directory. Back them up. Where do we explode? Where do we explode? Command failed. If a pro print. Oh, uh, somewhere I'm missing. Wait, did I not make... So symbols are URLs and explodes on that command. Why is, <laughs> why is that not working? It's something with the path I just did, I know, but. <laughs> Test data, tempter. Oh, the tempter doesn't exist yet. It can't make that directory. It doesn't make dirs. See here, let's just try it again. Uh, crap. I could look at this for real, but I'm just gonna keep poking at it quickly and seeing what happens. It's that same thing, doesn't exist, right? I think I blew past it. No such file directory. Is the error string. Test data, tempter, test one. I know, you're supposed to make that file. That's your whole purpose in life. Wait a minute, it's not printing something funny. Uh, nope, you funny. FFmpeg. Oh, it's totally missing. What am I missing? How am I missing this? Oh, 
I understand what's happening. I'm still passing too many parameters. So here, let's do this as an F string so I can see what's going on. I understand when I took out that JSON file, it threw things off. Let's see if that doesn't make the command look like it's supposed to look. That looks better. Temp output file path, tester, tempter, that, and then all the things. Okay. Let us give that a shot. Take six. Mm. That looks good. Cool, I'll be right back while it's doing that. Go, go. Oh, is it still working? Oh, overwrite. Ah! Yes. But I can't. Can you go down there? Hey, you can. Oh, okay, so there's got to be an override. So FFmpeg, I want to do a dash Y, right? End of the fourth quarter. Ooh, tied up. Yeah, that I think that was actually um, FF. I think we're gonna see it again here when this finishes. Um, I think that was FFmpeg asking me if I wanted to overwrite a file because um, it by default it won't do that. And I think that was this command. 
um, or as one of the commands was asking me if I wanted to, to overwrite. I'm not sure which one it was. So I'm going to see if I can pass a just a yes to it just to make sure it overwrites because I don't want it to hang on that because I'm going to run this on a server and not pay attention to it. Um, it's unlikely that there's going to be a collision of files, but if I have to restart it at that point, it would do it, which I could write in my own logic to do that. Like say if the file exists, don't run, which probably isn't a bad idea actually. I can do that later. Um, but yeah, I'll bet. I, I think we're going to see that again in a second because I think the output file. Yeah, there's only one output directory, and these in the two test files are actually named the same thing. So they're both going to try and write to the same. They're they're in different directories to start with, but they're named the same thing. But because there's only one output directory, they're going to collide um, because they have the same names when they try and hit that. I think we'll see in here in a minute. Can burn those. Yeah, it still feels like not as clean as I was, I was hoping to get it, um, but it's like it works. Um, like I could hoist all this stuff out, but right now it's just I'm just about like let's just get the thing going. Um, yeah, so here's here's the command again. So overwrite equals yes or no. Um, and let me back up and just see. I think this is the ffmpeg command that's freaking out. Yeah. So if we just pass it a yes, it'll go. Um, and I think... Uh, input now split on interval. Yeah, if you just do a dash y, it'll overwrite files if they already exist. So if it if it is ffmpeg that's having the problem, this right here will solve it because it'll just automatically tell it if you see a file overwrite. Oh, exit code zero. So it passed. Here's our file, and it should have audio this time, especially if I unplug the headphones. Let's see if it worked. This would be the final version. Definitely not hearing audio. It doesn't think QuickTime's going. What's going on? Oh, come on. It's got to work. It's got to work. It's got to work. It's got to work. What's going on? Why isn't it playing? Add favorite. Quick time player. No redirect. Is this thing stopped? Hang on. Oh, come on. We're so close. So close. Quick time, no redirect, the volume's up. That just doesn't have any audio. Crap, I thought we were there. All right, so let's not run them. Let's grab our commands and see what's up. So this is the command we're after. Just want to look and see if I see anything funky going on here. Map zero is the video, one is the audio. Okay, shortest output test one MP4. That should do it. That goes very fast. That used to work. Oh, that used to work. What's going on? There's still music playing here, right? Didn't freak out.
Yes, 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 it plays. That was maybe a little loud. Okay. Add music to video. Here, let's spell that right to start with. FFmpeg, I right, yes, here's our input path. Here's our other input path, which is mp3. Oh, this has a C, oh, this is in a different order. Also, there's these other zeros. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, Save that just in case. But so let's see if we get to this, what happens. So here's our input video. Here's our input audio. Here is our output path. All right, let's run that. I'm not gonna rebuild the whole thing. I just need to test the audio at this point. So I'm just gonna fire this through to get the, um, the these things. Oh, right. Oh, so didn't put my yes in there. That's See, that was the error that it was having. But if you throw a dash Y in here, it gives it, it just passes yes. Which I'll do that in a second. Right now, I'm just going to hit it. That took three tenths of a second longer. Output. Was I in the wrong folder? Music. There we go. Oh, that's going to be so weird. Yeah, it's I'm excited about this. I'm not going to lie. I've been messing around with this for a while, like all this different stuff all over the place. And like, I still have some ideas to, to mess with it. Um, like I want to play with the transitions that you can do. Uh, but this is going to get there. And it'll be really interesting too, because there's going to be... So there's 5,000 videos on the NASA API. Um, so it'll like, who knows what all is going to show up in it. It should be kind of neat um, to, to see. But that's, I'm, I'm psyched about that. That's the full the full run. Uh, actually, I want to put this back in for one second and see if I was looking at the wrong file. Oh, whoops. Uh, let's actually get one of them so we can see it. So temp directory, output directory. I was looking at the wrong file. Eh, human error. Happens sometimes. I was confused. I like I th really thought that command worked. Turns out it did. Um, sweet. Okay, so just to just to play with this a little bit. We're going to put a couple of the actual songs in here. I'm just going to run this for a minute. Um, and actually give it... Here. We're going to do... 
these three songs. This will actually take a little while because I'm going to also tell it. Uh, and I want to see if spaces work in the file names. I actually don't know if I've got those escaped everywhere. Uh, but also, I'm going to give it the full URL list as soon as I remember where I put that. Uh, data, NASA API, video URLs. I think this is the full list. Yeah, that's the full list. Because what was happening with that that test I was doing, there's only two URLs in there. And the way the process works is it looks at the time, it looks at the duration of the MP3. And then it grabs a random URL for a random video, grabs it, pulls it down, splits that video into clips, and then returns a clip of some number of seconds. And that number of seconds gets pulled off of the, off the duration count, um, the countdown. But what that means is with all these, with 5,000 videos, it's like right now there's only two videos. So I watch it and basically cache them. So it kept seeing the same two videos and just picking different clips from within that. But with 5,000 videos in the mix, every single one of those things is gonna pull down a video and split and go. So this is gonna take a little while. Um, but I wanna, yeah, maybe just maybe just two, ah, we'll try it with three songs. <laughs> we'll see how long it takes. Um, but so if we do that, and if we paste in our full file there, and then we actually execute the commands, and then we walk away for three hours. Yeah, so downloaded it, now it's clipping it. And see the clipping it, this is this is where it, this is why it's gonna take a while. Um because it takes time to go through and do the clipping. This is going to take forever. Uh, <laughs> I'm definitely... Well, so one, I'm going to leave this running overnight just to see what happens. Two, uh, I'll actually probably end up doing an EC2 instance on Amazon just to get a bunch of horsepower and a bunch of fast... Net well, so network problem, like that downloaded, no problem. But the horsepower behind it is going to be where the where the trick is. So I'll, I'll just... And just as a fun experiment, I've never really like bought a horsepower EC2 instance for an hour for a couple hours. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, we're still, so we're still clipping out the first video, which is just the first first segment of the first duration of the first MP3 file. This is gonna take forever, um, but I'm, I'll, we'll watch it for a minute and see how long it goes. Um, But I wonder what, so, actually, wait, did Clemson lose? No, Clemson's winning. Uh, EC2 pricing. I've been to this page many a time, but not really, really. So on demand, give it a minute to load. And I still don't totally understand the A's versus the T's versus the M's. I need to look that up here in a second. Compute optimized. So I think these are like general purpose, right? Or the A's, the T's, and the M's. Yeah. But like still, what's the difference between an A and a T and an M? I'll go look that up in a minute. But I think what I'd want would be the compute optimized because I'm hitting the CPU. But like, whatever, I could get a 96 CPU machine for four bucks for an hour and see how many of these it burns through. Um, and I think you can get some even cheaper, ah, 48. Yeah, so it'd be, it would actually, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a little experiment on this and get a couple of them and just try like run the same pattern on them um, to see like how quickly it works. Cause I don't know, I would assume FFmpeg is multi-process is, can deal with multi-process, multi CPUs or whatever. Um, yeah, 64 CPUs for, uh, for two bucks an hour. It's incredible. So those are the CPUs or GPU instances. I wonder if the GPUs would be faster. 
Memory optimized is not really what I need. Storage optimized, not what I need. Machine learning ASCII instances. No idea. Transfer, yeah, whatever. So yeah, I'll just get some EC2 instances and play around with them and see uh, see what they are. Let's spend 15 bucks. Uh, and then depending on how fast it goes, maybe 30 bucks to do the whole library. But I've got, I, I may just, um, I've got another motherboard floating around, so I may just put Linux on it and just have it go and just let it sit in the corner for however long. Um, the, the big one I have to watch out for too is storage. So because I'm pulling all these videos down, Ooh, still clipping the first one. Yikes. Yikes. Um, yeah, so this is a 213 second song that I don't know how to pronounce any of that. But nope, I can do boom or bomb. That's it. But this is cool. I'm excited about this. Now it's just a matter of horsepower. Yeah, so if I was going to throw it up, so yeah, so the thing that I'd want to do is, and actually you could kind of do this in general, is just throw all the video and stuff up to S3, because um, I don't need to store it permanently, and it's unlikely that um, it's with 5,000 tracks, but I've got about 1,500 tracks, sorry, 5,000 videos, but 1,500 music tracks, there might be some times when I can cache a song and it would it would catch one that's already there. I don't know, one in ten times. I don't know. Somebody, a math person, can tell you. But um, yeah, I know it's cool. Thanks, man. It's uh, I'm <laughs> I'm excited about this. Uh, and it's so the the goal here is to make music videos out of all the. Oh, hey, it finished one, and now it's doing the second one. <laughs> Oh wait, it still says 213 seconds remaining. That's weird, that should have gone down. Clipping video. Why didn't that go down? That's not a good sign. Oh, unless maybe I didn't decrement it. Nope, that definitely should have gone down. Duration, duration. I know it works because it, we've seen it go. Maybe the first one was just zero seconds. Oh yeah, I used to have a filter for if it was too small to pass it, but like, whatever. But yes, yeah, so I want to get the entire YouTube free audio library, put music video, because they just have MP3s, put videos behind them and then re-upload them and then make playlists out of them. It's one of the things I'm looking to do, just so I can have stuff going on. Plus, I just thought it'd be an interesting project. So uh, now it's just a matter of horsepower. So what? That took five minutes, maybe, to get the first one. And like, it's all random, so I've got no idea how long. Because like the clips, the scenes could be anywhere between a few seconds to 10 or 20 seconds. So times two. So there's probably... So let's say they're five seconds a piece. Is that 40 clips? Is that right? That seems wrong. If they're 10 seconds a piece, it would be 20 clips, right? Cause you just do, yep. Yeah, so yeah, so if they're five seconds, that would be 40, 40 clips. Yeesh. 40 times five minutes is a lot of minutes. Again, my computer's five years old, so. Oh, uh, it's a little, uh, it's too late for me to fire up an EC2 right now. Um, I'm kind of cached, but that's, that's tomorrow's agenda is, is play around with this and see, wait a minute. Oh, okay. I, th I thought I was saying a 201 cores. I think 96 is the highest they go. Yeah, it looks like 96 is the highest they go. Um, FFmpeg. Multi, multi processor.
It depends on codec used. FFmpeg and CPU count. Sometimes it's simply one per thread. Sometimes it's more complex. Thread zero optimal. Thread is one single thread. Thread two. Two threads for Xenor two core two. When was this? 2014. On a 12 core CPU, some of MPEG commands show at most 200 cores, no matter what option you put in the threads. So the default may be optional. Sounds like it can use it, so we'll just throw it at it and see what happens. And again, I'll, I'll throw time across it and see. Well, so I guess, yeah, this is where the testing gets tricky, right? Because there's randomness in what it pulls down. And that means there's randomness in how long it takes to clip. And I'm not, like, I could take that randomness out of it, right? And make explicit calls and explicit things, but I'm not interested in doing that. Um, I'll just wing it and see what happens. Maybe put 10 in, or tell it to do 10, and then time it and see how long it takes for a couple different machines. And then do the math to figure out if it's like, if a 50 cent an hour machine collectively does enough that it is worth it compared to a $2 machine. Which again, two bucks. Sweet. Hang on, throw it to the wrong window. GPU accelerator for the Ooh. Provides a subsystem for hardware acceleration, which includes NVIDIA. Oh. In order to be able to support GPU assisted encoding with GPU, you need a supported GPU, supported drivers to the. Oh, okay. Oh, this is cool. So I can actually figure. I'd have to, I'll have to go look and see. Where's that? What the CP? What the GPUs are? That'll take a little experimenting. Um, so I need. Here's all the stuff. Ooh, the Graviton processor. Nice. Uh, general purpose, compute, memory, accelerated. NVIDIA, there you go. Yeah, so I can compile FFmpeg directly on the machine. GPU is one. Four and eight. You gotta go to metal. See, why don't they put prices here? Ugh, it's so frustrating. Thank you. That's awesome. That is super helpful. Oh, GPU is 16. There we go. Okay, so what are these? Probably NVIDIA K80 GPUs. Sure. Ooh, this is interesting. Uh, yeah, okay. Because if that goes, all of a sudden we've got a whole new ball game for how long it takes to do this stuff. Yeah, no, seriously, appreciate it. Thank you. Um, compute, or is that GPU? There you go. <laughs> they don't mess around though. <laughs> oh, these are the ones probably that people use for Bitcoin mining and stuff. But yeah, so it all, I just, I'll have to do a little math um, and try and figure out. Well, actually, you know what? I could, no, I could actually do, I can actually do um, explicit tests. What's going on there? Oh, come on. <laughs> Build video, seed duration. I knew something was going on with that duration. No match an object group. Okay. What?
clipping video. Did not like it. And the problem is self build MP3, MP3 path. C duration. Return match group one. So it didn't pick up a time. Where am I going? Storage. Which one was this? F. Yeah, so I I hash these things because I'm going to have so many videos. I don't want 5,000 videos in the same directory. So I'm doing a hash and taking the first letter of the hash to make a directory name to split, to just split them out. Clips. Oh, why did you explode? So that's 54 meg. This is 7 meg. So it died on the clip. Why did that happen? Okay. I'm about done with this for the night, but I need to see if I can solve this real quick. So scene detect. Test data. Whoops. Nope. Back up. Test data v4. Video storage f f whatever. Um. Move clips clips. Back whatever it's fine. Oh bell whatever. Uh, actually no. I'm gonna fix that. Clips clips back. Let's try that. It's a little better. So scene detect original. Oops. Scene detect. Ooh. Scene detect I original. Output goes to clips, which I didn't make yet. Scene detect. I I'm gonna get this here in like no time. Clips. Detect content split video. Let's see what you do. But yeah, I could do, I could actually do a compare, uh, straight comparison test because all I'd have to do is capture like, you know, one of these or a couple of those and then actually just run those into like put those particular videos in the right place, run the videos, or run it, run it through the same, or run it through different machines with the same commands. I don't actually have to use, cause all the, all this thing is doing, uh, well, it's downloading the videos and it's splitting the videos as the raw input, but then really what it's doing is just making the commands to use those videos to do the assembly. So I can bifurcate and still have like video sitting there and I can just issue the commands directly and have those go. That's how we can test. Doesn't make sense. 54 mag, 58 seconds. Oh, it must have thought this is all one scene. Is this shrinking stuff? Wait a minute. No? Okay, never mind. Yeah, 58 seconds. I don't understand why they're different sizes. Seven mag. 57 mag. Uh, so it's doing some type of compression on it too. Okay. So why did that die then? I'm guessing, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I can't 
type, I can't type, I can't type. There's duration. Uh, I bet I know what's happening. Maybe. Where's my video? There's my video. Where's duration? Oh, it's in clip. Sorry. Clip. No, that should have worked. Oh, no. Okay, I see what's going on. This is the wrong pattern. So, duration, numeral, colon, numeral, numeral, colon, numeral, numeral, numeral. I should say digit. That's easier to say. This is looking for a pattern with seconds dot something seconds okay so that's where that's where it puked okay that's fine i can deal with that tomorrow uh because i have i've already got the the pattern well whatever that pattern's easy to do and so i'll just need to when you catch the direct duration i'll need to do two different matches to see which one of them hits um and then whichever one hits you do the calculation based off that and you and you pull it in and that's actually in the mp3 so the mp3 yeah here's the duration pattern right here that you would use um and i thought that might happen i just didn't code for it because i didn't hit that error yet so now i've hit that error and now i need to hit that so we'll do that uh that'll be tomorrow but for now it's all good Oh, hey, no, it's been a pleasure. Absolutely. Nice to meet you. Uh, stop by anytime. I'll, I stream a bunch of nights, but have a good night. Yeah, it's I'm an hour behind you, but it's also it's getting late for me, too. So see you. Have a good one. Uh, and to the rest of the stream. See y'all. I'm going to check out, too. So have a good night. Be kind. Bye bye.